I don't know if we're stupid or if we're crazy or for a little bit of both, but it's the afternoon of October 23rd and it's super windy this afternoon. Hunter and I decided to come to the CRP farm, uh, this tree line where I killed my big deer last year. We're probably about 80 yards to the south of where I killed him last year. And temperatures were in the high 70s, almost 80 degrees yesterday, and they've dropped to about uh, mid 30s here today. So uh, big, big temperature change, big weather front came in. Got a bunch of rain last night, so we've got to think that these deer are on their feet. Uh, we still don't have a shooter on this farm as of yet, but last year uh, to the day, this is the day that I got the first pictures of that um, big deer that I killed uh, late muzzle litter season. So it was October 23rd last year. So um, I think these farms that are all CRP and a lot of bedding start to heat up this time of the year. We've still got a big cornfield in to our east back here. Um, so I think that's holding a lot of deer, but anyway, it should be a good sit. We're gonna try to uh, settle in here and hang on. We're strapped in as good as we can. So hopefully we ought to see a lot of deer movement. We got a bunch of bedding up into the north and the west of us. We got a strong north wind. So there's one good deer in here. Uh, that's a three-year-old that I'd like to see on the hoof. Um, we got pictures of him all, all summer. I've been getting him on both scrapes. I've got a scrape on the south side and kind of right here on these oak trees. Uh, that was a really good spot last year uh, for me to get pictures of deer. So. Looking forward to it. Should be a good night. Hopefully these deer move a little bit and uh, we can have a good hunt this afternoon. Right there in that opening. Decent buck coming out. Can't really tell what he is. It's solid. Here comes another buck. There's three of them out there. Two little ones and then that decent ones kind of walking right through the opening right now. Not bad deer. 130. At least they're moving. They're both going to work. They're just loving it. We're probably getting down to about the uh, last 40 minutes of daylight here. We've had a really awesome sit, kind of exactly what I was expecting is that these deer would come out of this bedding up here to the north and the west and work across this bottom and go into this cornfield to feed for the night. And that's kind of exactly what they've been doing. We've seen, I think, three or four small bucks, two, a couple of two-year-old bucks, and they hit that scrape that I always have a camera on over there. So that's good that they're, you know, keeping those scrapes fresh it's always a good spot to get good inventory on this farm it's just one of those spots that just feels good you know you can see everything you never know what's going to pop out um saw some turkeys quite a few does a couple fawns but uh never did bang the antlers together i think we may just to see if we can stir anything up but it's pretty windy yet so if the wind dies down maybe i'll hit them together but if not, we're going to try and sneak out of here without bumping anything. We should be good. Um, you know, like I say, you never know what's going to come out there in the last 30 minutes. But if nothing does, uh, kind of our plan here for the rest of the weekend, it's supposed to be really cold and uh, it's supposed to maybe get a little bit of snow on Sunday into Monday. It's supposed to be highs in the 30s, so it's, it ought to be good. I mean, November's right around the corner. We're seven days out. Doesn't really feel like it, but every day we're getting closer looking forward to it so we'll keep uh keep you guys in the loop of what we're doing and uh we'll be in the tree within the next couple of days